Hey guys, it's Karen Mara. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a for life review. You're probably here because you're wondering what this company is all about. Somebody might have told you about it and you're trying to decide if you should join or not. I'm going to give you an overview here in just a minute. And then if you stick around to the end, I'm going to give you some great keywords that you can market this business with YouTube. But before we get to that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. I do a lot of product reviews on this channel as well, just to let you make an informed buying decision. If those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos each and every day. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the for life review. I'm not a part of this company, but I do know a thing or two about health and wellness because I have been practicing as a physical therapist for 29 years. And the, the company is an MLM company selling health and nutrition products specifically designed to help the immune system. The founders are David and Bianca Lysenby. And the company was established back in 1998. So it is a well-established company and it has stood the test of time as far as what most MLM companies do. So the company operates in 50 countries and the home office is in Utah. They do have a team of researchers that are physicians, PhDs, and immune science experts. So the products are backed by research, but the FDA did give a warning on the claims the company can make when marketing these products. And you have to be very careful when you do market products like this, if you get results, that what you can and cannot say. So you have to check with the company so that you can remain in compliance as far as what you're able to claim that you know can happen when you take these products. The company does have a nonprofit organization, Foundation for Life, and that focuses on helping children with nutrition, shelter, and education. So as far as the products, the main thing that they're known for is the transfer factor immune support, and that balances and supports the immune system. There's several different products under that category, Transfer Factor Plus, Rodivia, and some for women and some for men, daily supplements that contain the Transfer Factor, and Classic is the original immune support supplement, and then they have sticks that are antioxidant powders, they have vitamin minerals and immune support for kids and teens, and they do have a chewable citrus cream chewable tablet. The Rodivia Burst is a, actually an edible gel. And then they have this mint spray and also an orange spray that you spray in your mouth that has colloidal silver in it as well. And then something called Renew All. The next category is targeted transfer factors. So these are specific problems that you may have with your health. So they have one for if you have heart problems, one for mental functioning, one for glucose balance, one for reproductive and breast health, one for vision and eye health, and then prostate health, and some other things for the immune cell activity, and then one for positive mood. So those are just capsules that are supplements. And then they do have essential oils and everything that would go with that, like diffusers, the bracelets, necklaces, roll-on bottles, and the kits. So those are for specific health problems. And then they have a category digest for life and that has to do with the gut. So that's prebiotics and probiotics, detox for the liver, cleansing teas, aloe vera, digestive enzymes, and laxatives. They do have category for weight loss and that would be your energy powder packs, meal replacement drink that actually does have the transfer factor in it, liquid energy, herbs and vitamins, thyroid support for weight management, and then weight management supplements. They have personal care, and that's going to be things like toothpaste, body lotion, foot cream, face mask, massage gel, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then just as far as general health and wellness, they have omega-3 and 6 oils, joint health supplements, muscle repair supplements, sleep aid supplements, stress supplements, multivitamins, menthol cream is like for sore muscles, and then for women, the wild yam cream for women. Then 
the last thing is other products they have are supplements for livestock, horses, dogs, and cats. So you can see that they have a lot of different products that they do sell. As far as the cost to, to join, the latest that I could find was $150 for a startup kit. And if I'm incorrect on that and you're with the company, make sure you leave a comment below the video and just let me know what the cost of it is to join at this point if that's not true. But that's what I did find. As far as the compensation plan, if you want to sell these products, of course you will earn if you sell to someone that's a retail profit, you're going to earn free products with the loyalty program. You're also going to get builder bonuses, depending on how many people that you're able to recruit. And the incentive trips are based on how much you sell and you win trips that way. I'm not going to go over the compensation plan, but I am going to leave a video here in my blog post and I'll leave a link to my blog post in the description below the video so you can check out the compensation plan here. And I was looking for a an income disclosure statement because every company has to have that to just to let you know what you can expect to make. And the latest that I could find was 2017. So you can see like the majority of MLM companies most people do not make a lot of money so 88.6% of people had an average commission annual commission of $684 where that's always going to be some people will be on the low side of that like one person or a few people I don't know how many made $57 monthly commissions and then the high end of that would be 20,000 and you can see that there are some people like less than 1% that do make over 2 million a year so it is possible, but the majority of people won't make very much money at all. And the reason that I feel that that a lot of people don't make large commissions or just a lot of money a year with the MLM company is because um, the marketing is outdated. And you can't just post your link on Facebook and expect people to want to buy your products or join for life. You may get some sales like if you're posting like your weight loss or things like that. But you're not going to have the kind of sales that you need in order to make like the $2 million. And what, interestingly enough, I have a friend who was approached by a top distributor in a, a travel MLM. And she told him, I don't have time to do it. And he said, well, you just need to post your link on Facebook. Well, that's not, that doesn't work if you've ever tried that. And you're going to run out of friends and family to talk to very quickly. And like I said, in order to earn a large income, you're going to need a lot of people joining for life and a lot of people using the products. And you need to put yourself in front of people who want to start a home business in health and wellness because you can go out and talk to a lot of people. And most people, when you ask them if they're interested in making extra money from home, they'll say yes, but they're not interested in starting a home business because they don't know what's involved with that. And so it's like you're trying to sell a steak to vegetarians. You could talk to a million vegetarians and try to sell them a steak and nobody's going to buy it. It has to be people that are actually interested in what you have to offer. So let me just tell you a little bit about my story. I started back in 2007 with a travel MLM. Thought I was going to get rich, leave my job as a physical therapist. And actually thought that people that had jobs, you know, were weren't very smart because they should be they all should be joining my opportunity um, I was told to have travel parties and then when I ran out of people to have travel parties with then I asked my neighbors to have travel parties well that was very uncomfortable because no one would join and they just really were not interested and then no one was booking on my site because you you had this business cards that you would give out and tell people to book on your site when they were going to book travel because the whole premise was that people will buy from people that they know rather than Expedia. Well, most people would forget that I had a site or they said they found it cheaper somewhere else. And then if they did book, the commissions were very low, like I would earn maybe $5 on a plane ticket, whereas in the meetings you were led to believe you're going to make lots of money from people booking on your travel which you can you know from booking 
group travel, but just individual didn't turn out to be very much at all. And I, again, I ran out of friends and family. We were taught by the leaders to go out two by twos to the mall and talk to salespeople. We were also taught to put up flyers in front of people while they were pumping their gas so that they would come to the meetings and be interested. Well, no one ever showed up at the meetings in my experience from that. And we also rented a room and pretended like it was a job interview so we could get people to join that way. And actually people in the company were doing that and it was working for them, but it this didn't work at all. And people, uh, salespeople, I'm telling you, I would just go back and if they didn't show up to the meeting, I would just go back and talk to them because I was very dedicated and but it, it didn't work because they just they were not interested they say they were interested and then they they wouldn't show up to the meetings and i would invite my friends and co-workers relentlessly and i know they got tired of me inviting them to the meetings because they said they were going to come and then they didn't come and then i decided i'm going to buy leads i'm going to i went to tim sales he has mlm leads and i bought leads and i called them which was very uncomfortable and none of them were interested, even though they said they had a certain amount of money to start a home business, but they were not interested in um, joining an MLM company. So then I started marketing on the internet. I didn't know what I was doing. So it was the same thing as offline. I would, I would chase people and that didn't work out very well at all either. So it becomes very frustrating when you're trying really hard and nothing's working. And then I was ex uh, forced to take an extended leave i started marketing online 10 years ago and then i was forced to take an extended leave because of family some fear of family health reasons and i came back online last summer 2018 and i decided decided i was going to hire a coach and learn how to market on youtube and since last summer i generate leads every day with my youtube videos people join my opportunity on autopilot I've had $1,000 and $2,000 days on autopilot, never spoke to the person. People come to me wanting to join me rather than me chasing them. And my videos are ranking on the first page of, of YouTube and for targeted keywords and some of them number one for keywords. So let me just show you, I'm going to go to incognito that I know that the training and the mentorship that I've gotten works. So let's go to email economy review and you can see I rank number one there just a couple other examples uh, kaboom traffic review this is a new company I'm ranking number one for that uh, NV TV review that's a new fairly new MLM company I'm ranking number one for that so this when you can get in front of people who are your target market and people are actually interested in starting a home-based business that becomes very much easier and I wanted to give you some marketing ideas as far as marketing for life of course I would recommend starting a YouTube channel and what you would do you would have to figure out like what kinds of problems do people have in in your target market and do videos around that and you wouldn't necessarily have all your videos like you're trying to sell something. You just want to provide valuable information and people start to follow you and know, like, and trust you. And then you can have a call to action at the end of your video. If you want to learn more about how to improve your health or whatever, click on the first link in the description below the video. And you can start to build an email list of people who are interested in their health. You can also build an email list of people who are interested in starting a home-based business. And then you can continue to market to them. And I'm going to give you some keywords. If you do decide to, to start with this company and start a YouTube channel, these are just some ideas that I wanted to share with you that I came up with. Now, YouTube is the second largest search engine. Google is the first. So people go to YouTube all the time to solve problems, do a review on something before they purchase it. So what you want to do is install something called Keywords Everywhere, and that's a Google Chrome extension. Just Google it and download it. It's free. And that's going to show you how many searches each keyword has per month. So you can figure out some good keywords that you can use. But I came up with some for you. Let's go over to YouTube 
and I'm going to show you how to figure out how much competition there are for these keywords. So the first one is best immune system booster. So we'll go over here and type that in best immune system booster. And you can see there are 880 searches a month for that keyword. And don't you think that those people would be looking to buy the best immune system booster? Yes. And you could do a video around like um, different things that will boost your immune system, not necessarily your product, but then have that be one of the things in there. And to get more information, click on the, the link in the description. But to figure out how much competition there is, you would type in the words all in title with a colon and then put it in quotation marks. And you want to get a keyword that doesn't have more than one search, one page of search results. So you can see if we scroll down, this one does not have that many search results for that exact match. So that's an excellent keyword. 880 searches and not much competition. So let's see what else we have. Best immune system supplements. We don't have to do all of these, but these are just some that I came up with. So you can see that says thousand searches a month. And I think this one had a little bit more competition, but let's see. Actually, that one had less competition. This isn't actually a better keyword. I mean, they're both really good. But a thousand searches for this, that would be pretty easy to rank for if you know what you're doing. Um, essential oils and their uses, best probiotics for women, best probiotics for men. And let, let's search this one because Again, you don't want to sell to people who are employee, they have an employee mindset, like they don't really want to start a business and talk to people and go out there and learn marketing and do all the things that you need to do. You want to talk to people who actually like love MLM and love home-based businesses. So don't you think somebody who is interested in MLM would be searching best MLM company? I think so. So let's search that keyword best MLM company. Now this one has more competition, but there's 340. Is that what the keyword was? Best MLM company. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Best MLM company, 340 searches a month. So 340 people are searching that. So all in title, let's see what the competition is. I think that this one obviously is going to have more competition. I think. Let's see. But if you find, again, a keyword that has pretty good amount of searches and not too much competition, not like not more than one page, then that's a good one. So let's see. I'm thinking this wasn't the keyword because this has more than one page. Let's do this. I think it's Maybe it was best MLM companies. Best MLM companies, that must have been it. 1900 searches a month. Let's check that one out. Yes, I think this is the one, best MLM company. Because if you scroll down, you're eventually gonna get that it's not more than one page right there so there is more competition for that but if you learn how to rank for that 1900 searches a month like at least within the first four searches you're going to get some pretty good views so those are my ideas for keywords and i also want to mention to you just as an aside when you build a youtube channel you can eventually earn money from Google AdSense, which is the ads that are placed at the, the front of people's videos. And when people click on those, you earn commissions. So it's just another way that you can earn like some residual income from starting a YouTube channel. And I started mine back 10 years ago, and I didn't know what I was doing. But then when I came back online last summer, I really learned how to find keywords and how to rank my videos but I already had some authority because I had an established YouTube channel, but everyone has to start somewhere. And if you rank, if you post a video a day, 
you know, in a year or two years time, you'll be getting ad revenue and you just apply for it. You have to have 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. And then I, I got it approved like within a week. And here's just some of my results that are pretty cool. Um, this is just, you know, work that I've done on videos in the past. So I started, I got approved like I think the 26th, 27th of March. So you can see that was not very much in March. But then April was 468, May was 481, and June was 610. And then July, of course, this only has the first two days, first two days of July. It doesn't have the other, today's the 4th of July. It doesn't have the other two days in there. But that's just something else that you can think about that if you're building an audience and building a home-based business, maybe marketing for life, then you can also earn residual income through Google AdSense. And it's something that if you do have the right content, you know what you're doing, you can get that revenue. And I took the right training and, and, and learning from my mentor who has made millions of dollars with this free YouTube marketing strategy. And so you do have to know what you're doing again. And if you want to learn what I learned as far as being able to rank videos and make that those kind of commissions through affiliate marketing as well as through Google AdSense, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. You can check it out if you like. Hope you guys found some value from this for life video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, make sure you leave them in the comments below the video. And if you do need to contact me for any reason, I do have my contact information in the description below the video. And again, if you want to learn what I have learned as far as being able to market on YouTube and have some really great results, that'll be the first link in the description below the video. With that being said, this is Karen Mero signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.